if I were to still use pallets in the haunt, I would be drooling right about now. <laughs> wow. There you go, guys. There's your pallet haunt right there. Mika, I'm home. Have you seen a squirrel? 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 Go get the squirrel. Go get it. You want the squirrel? Get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. Go get the squirrel. There's no squirrel. Ha <laughs> ha. Tricked you. Does this look familiar, guys? This is the exact same graveyard that we filmed You Might Be a Haunter if in. And guess what? This is gonna be Phoenix's first time in a graveyard. The gate is closed. You're in a graveyard. Spooky. You guys remember this is the entrance and we filmed like right over there. So if you guys haven't seen it, go and watch it. You might be a haunter if part two coming. I don't know when. It's all up in there. Such is life. Up in the I think I just stepped in poop. Nope, it was a pine cone. Whew. So apparently these two people might have been like really important. Important people separated by a tree. All right guys, out for a walk. Take a look at this. Those two benches right there. Um, the one bench we're gonna come back and grab. I went and talked to the lady and she's getting rid of it. You guys will see it here in a little bit. The first haunt item of the year. Ha! Finally, Troy's doing something haunt related. Oh my gosh. But besides videos and work, because work is pretty scary. You guys don't have to deal with my work. It's scary. So here we are, we're walking, and you guys have heard me refer to where I live as, as Lake Hood. I mean, the actual name of the city is Lake Wood. But um, this is why, this is what I found on the ground. Yo, 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 what's up? <laughs> You wanna start some trouble with me, hmm? Okay, I took a second look at it. It's not a shotgun shell. Burn time six seconds for marine use only. It's a flare. Somebody's been flaring the neighborhood. I hate it when the neighborhood flares up. Yeah, I'm going for a walk. I'm just chilling. Just me. Hi, hi everybody. Haven't seen you in a while. Love you guys. Anybody have any milk? Let me stick my tongue out at you. Bleh. Apparently, Lori Lee had him laughing today, hysterically. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. That's the first time I've seen him laugh. That was so cool. I'm so happy. He's getting so big. He's the biggest little guy I know. On our walk, this is the view that we saw, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that first one there looks really, really freaking awesome. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? Look at that one right there. Are you guys ready for the close-up on this thing? This is so cool. Here we go. And this is why I really like it, is because of the wrought iron look, and it still has uh, authentic grass and weeds hanging from it but uh, very dilapidated, got broken board here. So it, it's not like usable, which is perfect. And this is gonna be perfect for either, um, I don't know, I'm thinking a, a part of the solarium or a part of the outside or even a part of the graveyard, the front yard, like putting it in the place of where that one is or something like that. Because I've got plans, I've got ideas in my head for this year's haunt and we'll go over it when I go over COC but as far as, and I can't remember who said it, but they were talking about like what uh, Mini-Me was doing yesterday on the computer since I got the touch screen, drawing your haunt up with the touch screen. For some reason, I never thought about that. I don't know why, but I never thought about that, and that would be so much easier just to do it that, w that way. So, anyway, first haunt item of the year, and first free haunt item of the year. Two birds, one stone. All right, guys, it is now time for your Facebook question of the day. This is the second time that I'm doing this simply because the first time I thought I was filming and I wasn't. And yes, I'm now talking in a British accent or at least an English one. I don't know why. 
Murray Fetner, take the virus that Pauline was talking about earlier in the comments and add a dash of bath salts, put it in the oven at 500 degrees, out pops the naked zombie apocalypse. Wow. I wonder if uh, Papa Murphy's could uh, sell that. Chris T. I don't know why people really want zombies to come true. Hello? What's wrong with you? It's a great fantasy, but to really have it happen? No way. It's strange and weird for people to want it to happen. I pray it never does. May it just all be in fun. May we live forever together celebrating Halloween forever. <laughs> Mike B., I don't think it will happen, but then again, it might be starting. I've noticed while at work on breaks, everyone is mindlessly looking down at their phones. Hmm. <laughs> Pamela K, I'm not afraid of zombies, but I am afraid of politicians. So there you guys go. There's your Facebook question of the day. Now, I, I have to go and pick those up now. I am doing this in reverse order, but you will not see this in reverse order. So it has to do with the whole editing time continuum. So I'm going to do COC now, and then I'm going to do Facebook questions of the day. And, but you guys have already seen the Facebook question. It, this is just weird. It's one big conundrum. Just the making. First, fuses are fun. Second, warrior hunt. Awesome artwork, mini me. Now I need a touch screen of my own to do this stuff. You know, it's kind of funny. I originally got the touch screen to make my editing easier. And I don't use it to edit because it's kind of difficult to use because it, it's, uh, touch screen is great. If you want to do like just big sections or whatnot, but when you want to get in and do like tiny little things, even if I use a stylus, it's still kind of difficult. So anyway, I don't use it for editing like I thought I would. Emerald Gypsy Heart, saw the toilet paper bandit has been flipping the paper the right way. No, it's not the right way. It's supposed to go around the back, but uh, Lori Lee has the top toilet paper thing, so she has hers going over the top. I've got the bottom one and it goes under the bottom, so we've compromised. <laughs> Emerald Gypsy Heart goes on to say, Been in the hospital since Friday. Thanks for entertaining me. Sad Panda, I hope that you're okay. What, what, if you don't mind saying, what's, what's going on? Hope you get better soon. Awoke a Nightmare. That touchscreen computer program would be awesome for drawing up a haunt. I think it was just paint that she was using. Everything I've drawn on the computer for the haunt has been with a mouse and was very time consuming. Yeah, that's one reason why I don't draw things on the computers, because using a mouse sucks. The Creepy Hollow. The title was misleading today. There was no jumping and no gun. Made me a sad panda. I'm sorry, but you got what I meant, right? About jumping the gun on putting the video online live before the time that I said, which was going to be Saturday at 5 p.m. Yeah, so you guys need please go and take a look at it and spread it to all your friends. MSM Michael 99 How do you contact YouTube about someone stealing one of your videos because... Super Game Video Champ stole one of my videos. Well, I did you a favor, kind of. I went and took a look at your videos, and then I went and took a look at Super Game Video Champ's videos, and the video that you're talking about actually can't be, you don't want to go and say that somebody stole that video. And there's a reason for it, because you recorded it from the TV, so the wrestling isn't owned by you. So YouTube will not do anything if they do anything, they will make you take yours down and him take his down because both of you guys are in violation of copyright infringement for the people that made the video, which is, was it WWE now, I think? So be cautious about it. Be careful what you put online, even though it's kind of awesome that you got, what, like 650,000 views or something like that or 65,000? I don't know. I'm dyslexic. But anyway, um, I, I will tell you, though, this is the link to use. If you guys ever have a video that's stolen on YouTube, um, www.youtube.com forward slash YT forward slash copyright forward slash copyright dash complaint dot, dot HTML. ABC Noise 2. What was living in the P-trap? I don't know. I ended up not having to take it apart because you know the little plug hole on the sink, like the overflow hole that all sinks have so that if it gets too high, the water goes through the little hole. Um, I blocked that with my finger and Lori Lee had this like mini plunger. So I sat there and I 
and I was able to get it out. I imagine the sink had a huge hairball. And she goes on to say, It was good seeing Keith. It's always good to see Keith. It's always so much fun. Thornwood Castle would be fun. They might be up for the publicity. After all, it wouldn't probably be as profitable if it wasn't for Rose Red. Probably very true. Very true. I don't want to say anything about the rates, but obviously it's more expensive than a regular hotel. It ain't your Motel 6. Anyway, guys, that's it for the day. Happy haunting. Hope you like the haunt item. Go watch a scare video. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Um, but while you were awake, yeah, were you all well? Nah. Um, but while you were awake,